This channel is sponsored by Creality. Go to Creality.com and find all of your 3D printing tools. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to do a quick update uh, today, so it's going to be kind of a short video. Uh, but I want to go over some of the things I've been doing um, outside of uh, printing uh, just the uh, car shell, but uh, we've got to do like, you know, tail lights and uh, we're doing some other things. So let's go take a look. So yeah, we're printing um, grills and whatnot um, for uh, the car. Uh, some other things I'm printing is actually a engine cover. Um, so we'll uh, go back and show you what that's going to look like. And one of the big things is, is that we've been using um, our resin printer quite a bit. Uh, this thing is fantastic, by the way. So uh, if you guys are doing any um, modifications or you're, you know, wanting some stuff that is doesn't look like it was 3D printed, a resin printer is really for you. Um, I have the uh, Howlett uh, 14K Mage and uh love this thing uh it's it works really well it's not messy uh and i can use lots of different uh types of resins so this is uh red uh, transparent red and you'll see why uh this is important here in just a second so basically what we want to do is we want to use this to make things that we're going to be doing lights with okay so optics so here we go we've got um, a uh, chevron that is for the tail lights and the last time I did this I did this in PETG transparent PETG and yeah you could tell it was it was uh, 3d printed and you know you'd get a little bit of scatter off of it, it was great it it wasn't as bright as I had hoped but uh, it worked um, really well. However, uh, these things are going to be absolutely fantastic because they're going to look just like uh, pieces of cut plastic. And so they're going to look like, you know, Lexan uh, types of modern uh, lenses for taillights. And that's something that I think is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, so uh, let's go take a look at the uh, three that I've already printed for the driver's side and uh, we'll talk about that. So over here we've been busy printing a bunch of different things. This is actually uh, uh, goes in here on the engine cover. Uh, so that's a little grill. We'll be covering that in carbon fiber. Uh, so stay tuned for some of that. But uh, we've been printing these uh, housings for the uh, tail lights. These are the 3D printed housings. And this is on the passenger side. So you can see that this fits in here. I haven't got any mounts on it yet, but it will fit into this uh, uh, opening here uh, pretty nicely. Again, all these panels are fitting pretty snugly, uh, which is really great. So, But onto the um, chevrons, you can see here uh, that they're showing up pretty bright on the camera, which is nice. Uh, they're still kind of scuffed up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of sand these down and then do the clear coat. I don't know if you guys remember, but on the, uh, we did these for the, uh, McLaren and although they're a little yellow for the clear, that's okay because these are going to be inside the headlight and basically just, um, scattering, uh, headlight, uh, and so, uh, basically just kind of glowing, uh, and then we also did, if you remember, the uh, running lights also. And so these have been sanded and then clear coated. Uh, and that's what's going to be done with these guys right here. Um, and then we'll put the lights in behind them. I think I'm going to actually cover this. Um, I'm going to skin it in carbon fiber and do a vacuum uh, bag the just the uh, uh, background um, so that uh, it'll look really nice um, and then we've got to figure out how to you know bend some 
uh, Lexan over the top so that we get a nice uh, looking uh, tail light so you can barely tell the difference that it's 3D printed. And in other news, we've got a care package from my friend um, Andrew at uh, Bloop. Um, this is the preferred uh, uh, adhesive for my ASA work. Um, he makes it for lots of different uh, types of materials. Um, so thanks again to Andrew. Thank you very much for sending us uh, another batch of your fantastic uh, adhesive. Remember, we've used this for basically the entire uh, SVJ. So we've used a little bit of a combination of this and s uh, small amounts of ABS glue, but all of the panels are actually uh, fitted together with uh, the gloop. So we've been very, very happy with that. Oh, and you look at there. He's sending me some nerds for my kids. Gummy clusters. Yummy. I know that ought to get the kids bouncing off the walls, right? <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> if you guys are doing... If you guys are doing uh, what we're doing, or you're just uh, uh, wanting to put your 3D parts together and everything, look these guys up um, and uh, get some of their stuff. Try it out. See if you like it. I love it. Uh, so I want to uh, hear from you guys in the comments. What do you guys think of it? Um, I know my buddy Jeremy over at the Electric Supercar channel has uh, tried some of this for PETG. Um, he, I think, ran into some issues because he couldn't really clamp his 3D prints together um, because he had very large surfaces, but, you know, that sometimes happens in prototyping. Uh, so, basically, yes, this does require you to clamp your parts together, so that's really important, um, but it makes a bond that's actually stronger than the 3D print, in my experience. So, thank you again for Andrew and the folks over at Gloop for supplying our adhesives. So one thing I have decided is these radiators are going to be moved to here. Um, so I'm actually gonna build some structure in here and we're gonna put the radiators in the uh, large scoop. Only makes sense, right? Uh, so that's where those guys are gonna go. And then that'll allow us to put an AC condenser on there as well. Anyway, pretty pleased with the way things are going. Uh, you guys let me know uh, what you think in the comments. Um, sorry it's a short video today, but uh, again, I've been doing lots of other things as well as uh, continuing to work on the car and the 3D printing part. Um, hopefully next weekend we'll get to some more mechanical stuff. We'll get to moving the uh, radiators, redoing the uh, roll bar that uh, originally we had because it's not compatible with the new engine cover, so we're gonna have to cut that out and uh, uh, redo that. And I wanna do that in such a way that we uh, reinforce it so that we don't relieve any stress on the uh, chassis and cause it to warp. Uh, so we'll be going through that process as well. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend or had a great weekend. Um, like and subscribe, please. Uh, and again, uh, throw up the comments and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.